This is a quick demonstration of software-defined data protection. With RecoverPoint 4.0, EMC introduced the capability to have virtual RecoverPoint appliances, so software-only appliances. And what we're going to demonstrate here is taking this capability to a whole other level. You can see that we have two sites using virtual RecoverPoint appliances to replicate between VMworld Las Vegas and VMworld Barcelona. But what we're going to demonstrate here is a new capability by embedding the RecoverPoint splitter technology directly into vSphere. The RecoverPoint splitter is the technology that copies the I.O. for replication. Now traditionally this would be in the array or inside a fabric, but if you take a look at this environment, currently we've got a VNX re representing a data store that's sitting on block, it could be on NFS. We also have some DAS based storage, in fact this could be any storage including VMware's vSAN. Now when the RecoverPoint splitter driver was embedded into the fabric or the array, you could only really replicate a data store. Uh, ideally, people want to be able to replicate VMs. For example, what if this Tier 3 VM is sitting on the uh, shared storage provided by VNX, and maybe these v EMC World files are sitting on DAS, uh, potentially even on vSAN? It can be as simple as this. We can select the virtual machine, in this case this Bank of Springfield VM. We can go and then identify that we want to protect it with RecoverPoint. And then we just need to specify a few things. What recover point cluster is going to uh, provide the source replication? How we want to replicate to a target VM? Do we want it all to be created automatically? Or do we want to select a specific VM that we're replicating to? In that case, you can actually have relatively complex underlying storage configs, including RDMs. Um, and then uh, what vSphere resources, both uh, the location and ultimately the host and cluster, um, that that particular virtual machine is running on and then since we selected that we want to use a pre-existing VM we're going to identify this particular replica VM which has the same configuration as the source. Now this so far has shown the same simplicity and ease of use as native vSphere replication but here you can see choices about synchronous, asynchronous, huge RPOs, even things like consistency groups and other technologies that are more enterprise class traditionally offered by things like EMC Recover Point have the same simplicity and ease of use of a native embedded uh, vSphere replication technology. Further, this brings things not only like consistency groups but deduplication, high bandwidth replication, uh, compression of links, multiple complex replication topologies without losing any of the simplicity and VM level replication that customers want.